If you like being freaking huge as well as protecting your allies from everything, then this is a build for you. A fun little mechanic in D&D is if you increase your size, anything that has an area of effect that centers on you gets bigger. This build is all about enjoying that mechanic and making ourselves big and having a bunch of auras and area of effects around us to influence the battlefield. In order to pull this build off, you're gonna want six levels in Redemption Paladin, three into Rune Knight, and then X into Paladin. Now that is the optimal route. You totally could go Rune Knight first if you want it to become bigger quicker, but if we're going the optimal route, then six into Paladin first is how we'll start. We're also going to be taking Duragar. Duragar gives us another route to become big, which we're going to enjoy through those six levels of Paladin. And unlike the Fairy, who can also make us go big, we can wear heavy armor and still get all of our benefits. So Duragar is the lineage for us. So talking about Paladin first, as for our fighting style, we're going to want to pick up Blessed Warrior. The reason we want to pick up Blessed Warrior is that it gives us ranged options, and we are going to be the type of character that sometimes is going to stand by our allies, in which case we may not have enemies next to us, so having a ranged option will always give us something to do with our action. Past that, we're going to be playing a fairly typical paladin. Once we hit level six, we get our aura and we have our first synergies where we can go big and our aura gets bigger as well. The next three levels go into rune knight and this is going to increase the amount of times we can go large per day. We also have the option to mix our giant's might with enlarge to make ourselves huge and our aura gets big enough that even your mother could fit in it. I kid, I kid, I'm sure your mother's lovely. Now sage, I hear the comment saying, if you get to level 18, you get 30 foot auras. With this, you only are getting 20 foot auras. Sure, but we're getting those 20 foot auras at level six, meaning we're going to get those auras. If it's an 18th level feature, we're probably never going to get it. So let's enjoy slightly smaller auras sooner than the biggest aura we could possibly get, never. Some other neat things we can do is have the interception fighting style. This also extends in range as we get bigger because we influence more of the battlefield. And what's really neat about this build is how many different options we're going to have as a reaction to defend our team. We have Cloud Rune from being a Rune Knight. Cloud Rune is perfect for if they make a huge attack roll, we can say, no, that doesn't hit our ally. It's actually going to hit your ally. And so we can do a bunch of damage to them and protect our allies at the same time. Now that situation, it's perfect for the cloud room, but what if they're casting a spell? That's where Rebuke the Violent comes in. This is the channel divinity from being a redemption paladin. Now we can say, okay, you may be doing that damage to our ally, but there's a chance you're going to be taking all of that damage. And if not, you're going to be taking half of it. Another reaction that punishes them for hurting our teammates. Well, maybe they're just doing a small attack. Then we have the interception fighting style. This is just going to reduce the amount of damage of a single attack. And why I prefer interception over the, the protection fighting style is that protection is before they roll and they may or may not hit, where interception is after the roll. So we know they hit. So we are guaranteeing value where protection might not even be giving you value for your reaction. That's not all. Also at level seven, we have Aura of the Guardian. So anyone in our big ass aura who gets hit, we can decide to take the damage for them as a reaction. Perfect for protecting somebody from a concentration breaking attack. In other words, we use our big aura to protect our allies in a ton of different ways, but we're not too shabby at doing damage either. We're going to have a sword and board play style. When we hit, we're going to have giant smite applied to it. We may even have the enlarge applied to it as well. We have smites to throw onto it and we have things like the fire runes chains to apply to it as well. So we can actually deliver quite a bit of burst damage if the situation calls for it. So at the end of the day, we are a defensive bastion. Anyone around us should be much harder to kill just because we exist and because we can get it's so freaking huge, there's going to be a lot more people around us. We're going to make our team saves great, and we're going to protect them from damage as well. So we're protecting them on all fronts. We have mid-ranged options, although we definitely are better in close range. Our weakness is definitely long-range combat. We are medium range at best and have zero options for those long-range combats. I want to give a shout out to one of our Patreons, Jonathan S. Jonathan S. is a total homie to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to show your support to the channel and get some awesome benefits, consider checking out our Patreon. Both with that, my friends, I hope you have yourselves an incredible day and I'll catch you on the next one. See you then.